for a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more. You're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Thursday, August 24th of 2017, and you're listening to episode 115 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Ford, and I'm joined today by Clenda. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing well. How about you, LQ? I forgot to introduce the name order so we'd finally have one. Well, <laughs> We do have one, we just never used it. Well, I'm using my own. <laughs> Ford is pretty consistent about name order, though. It's also it in alphabetical order. That's consistent. Blink, blink. Yeah. <laughs> blink, blink, blink. Blink, 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 blink. Hey, Mace. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Maluris. Hi. How are you? You know. Yeah. I- I'm sure you don't go by any other name. Never oh, no. have I ever heard another name for me on this podcast. Ever. Yeah, that's right. Not three times you heard it here, time. folks. He does <laughs> not go by any ever. other names. Nope. It's only Mal. <laughs> yeah. Malaris, Maluris. So I got some Lego stuff this week. Really? Ooh, What'd you get? I got some Lego Ninjago movie minifigures. Ah, oh, which I ones? J, Cole, and Zane. Literally three of the best they have. The only These ones I really need the most. Well done. They're the ones I'd How like the, the most as well. They're pretty good. They're cool. I, this is my first time with any of the movie hair pieces. Zane's hairpiece is very weird. I could not see it being used on any other minifigure because <laughs> he has printing all around his head, which is like a shaved head and his he's still a robot, I guess, but he has a shaved head. That's like a new thing, isn't it? Like it has printing all around the head. Like they couldn't even do that with like Nick Fury in his eye patch. Dr. Julian must be an edge lord in this continuity. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's impressive. Working on the really. edge. And then, uh, is Jay all right? How's his hairpiece? Uh, yeah, Jay's hairpiece is pretty cool. Um, it's not quite as, like, wild, I guess, in person as you'd think it would be. Mm -hmm. It looks a lot more normal. (laughs) You know what I don't like about Jay's ninja outfit? Way too much black. It's black, blue, and red. It's just a little weird. But he's a ninja. Well, yes, that's true, but the Ninjago ninja don't ninja. They're like this the worst true. at being ninjas ever. But, they're fine superheroes. But this is the movie. But they're not they good wear ninjas. black traditionally when they're in the shadows. That's I true, but you don't see Kai or Zane's outfit is very white. Kai's well, yeah, is actually... Zane is the white ninja, but Kai still has black in his color scheme. <laughs> That's true, but Jay's primary color is very dark blacks and grays and such. I don't see your point here. Yeah, all of them are black except it feels yeah. out of Zane. place for the character. To I mean, me. Nia isn't black, but she's still a dark color. She's still like fact, a gunmetal color. Jay has quite a bit of blue compared to the other ninjas' colors. Yeah. I, I don't mm, see your point. I don't know. It's just too black for me. He should be blue. It's he's like his, he's in, the personality. No black one. on his upper torso at all. <laughs> I'm talking about well, on the ninja one. There... Yeah, yeah, on the ninja one, there's well, hardly perhaps... any black. Well, I'm a I, guess, I suppose I'm misremembering, but I remember there being a lot of black on his torso. No, there's, like, no black at all. Huh. I didn't notice. <laughs> As you can so, see here. You also got Cole, right? Yep, and I got Cole and his ghetto blaster, which is the official name for some course. reason. With his ACDC fan shirt. <laughs> yep, and is... I didn't notice, but it has back printing out, too, and it looks just like a tour shirt, which is kind of cool. Wait, it has tour shirts? Cool. Like yeah, and the back says World it? Tour uh, 1985 ah! and then sold out. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that one. Does that mean that Cole was alive in 1985? Now. Yes. Or maybe his dad well, got it. Maybe his dad was a cover band. I was about to ask, well, how well, old does that make the ninja? Or rather, what time is this taking place? Cause that Cole's kind of an old man who weird. flunked high school. That's why he's with them. Well, what if his what if his uh what if his father was like really into music, like in the original mm-hmm. show, but and in he a was different in way? ACDC. Mm-hmm. But in a different way. Hey, ACDC's pretty good. 
His dad was the lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> was he the better lead singer? Uh, <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, well, I looked up ACDC members, and there's like a huge list. Apparently, they've changed out members a lot oh, since yeah, they started. They, they've changed out a lot over the years. Their their lead singers like they had to like go Axel through them because Rose they had like the, they're like his vocals in ACDC now. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Yeah, they have to like keep switching out some people because they scream so much that they lose their voices. But mm-hmm. I digress. We got a lot to talk How's about Cole's today. Hearing? How's Cole's Don't hair in person? Cole's hair is almost exactly like his original hair, <laughs> but huh. not. Well, isn't that a good a thing for you OG comb. Ninjago people? Yeah, we'll talk about that actually later in the show. All right. <laughs> but, all right, yeah, let's get right into today's news. So, first up, uh, the Lego Creator Winter Village Station was officially announced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks like Crick-a-chirp. it'll be a nice Crick-a-chirp. companion Crick-a-chirp. piece to the train for anyone who bought that train last year. Yeah, I had just... almost forgotten the train was a thing. Here's the problem. The train, I'm pretty sure, is no longer... Hang on, I- I'm going to check. I, don't, I think it is available still. <laughs> I'm going to check, though. Because, look, if you're going to sell a station, you got to sell the train. I mean... That's the problem. Now, um, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure they still sell the train. Why is it 80 bucks? Winter holiday train. Uh, yeah, it's still in the Lego shop. Is I don't really? see why they would yep. advertise sure. it, cool. the train on the back if they're not like still selling it, you know? Like, yeah, uh, I would. It's a hundred dollars, but, but it's one hundred two five four. If you're looking for the product number, train track pieces are so expensive. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish I had a Lego train. Don't I'd only like one that's not motorized. Nice. I wish I had Lego train tracks, but I yeah. like trains. Wait, you have a train then? No, I said I wish I had the tracks. So you just want the tracks out the train? You know, because they're expensive, I can make a nice, good bit of money back on it, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, you can stand so you on the, the train corner track with the just so you can coat. sell them. Hey, like, y'all I mean, hey, these Lego if I don't have tracks. a train for it, the tracks, what's the purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use it for something. I was only ever into one train, that being the Hogwarts Express. I, other than that, I was... What was I that just... orange one they released a while ago? I liked that one. Oh, the I don't remember that train. at all. I don't know. I don't remember no, the orange train, I'm afraid. It was re- more recent. I forget what it's called. Um, that's the most likely why Creator I don't know it. Horizon Express? Uh, yeah, Horizon Express. That's what it was. Oh, man. Why isn't it the Junkbot Express? Now that's an orange <laughs> train. <laughs> no, I, I like that train. I like its colors. Because it's orange? Uh, Junkbot. When are they going to reboot yeah, Junkbot? Yeah, I like orange. What do you need? You don't see very many orange stuff do you like with lego no you don't i mean Unless coast guard, coast guard or... <laughs> yeah yeah i think, I think orange and lego oh, junk bot is the only thing that comes to mind because like in ninjago well the, the sky pirates had orange which i liked um but rarely ever and do you sky see Laura. orange there mm-hmm. i do need and to watch that then in nexo nights you don't have orange axel has the key orange mm-hmm <laughs> I don't mind keto orange, but I prefer it over yellow. I don't prefer it over orange itself. But yellow is a great color. Yellow is ugly. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we got split opinions here. Yellow is a great color. (laughs) Yellow is by far the ugliest color there is. Oh, yeah? Mace, I can get you back on my side. Just with Lego. Okay, yeah. I can get you back on my side, general, In general, yellow things are just ugly. Oh yeah, you think like the you sun? think the N one is y- ugly because it's yellow? Now that's I mean, cool I'm not a huge shit. fan of the N one. <laughs> you ah, but it's such a nice are... one. It's so sleek. It looks like it you wasn't are even wrong. At all. <laughs> the N one is like one of the most fragile starfighters in Star Wars canon. <laughs> what are you talking mm, about? That shields? Maybe, but the Naboo the Naboo people are fragile themselves. Yeah, they, they pluck Th- save us, frog true. people. Pluck save us. I mean, they're fragile people. <laughs> so back to the Winter Village train station. It's like boring. To the subject at hand. I don't it's know. I think bucks. it's a nice train station. I mean, it's, it's nice. Bucks. It's just. It's yes, nice. I, I just know. wouldn't pay eighty bucks. Yeah, it's expensive. I yeah, don't... I agree. What is the piece count? 
Nine hundred. Oh. Um, okay, it, that is a lot of pieces. Actually, two. it's a lot of pieces, but it's very, very tiny. The pieces. Where you are can't those get a set going? this small. Probably and... that bus. That <laughs> tiny, tiny, practically yeah, the... clown bus. That has five hundred pieces in it. <laughs> and the little um. I don't. I don't really know where itself, all the pieces could be going. Um. I... It's in the but but it says they're parts. there, so we got to take their water. I mean, that's not a bad price to piece ratio with the train track and all the minifigures too. What's it come out to be? What's the price come out to be? Yeah. Oh, we just said uh, eighty. No, 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 the price apart. <laughs> oh, the price apart. Well, yeah, it has nine hundred and two mm-hmm. pieces, mm-hmm. and, and it's a, eighty bucks. <laughs> so that comes out to that's like eleven about. 8.8. 8. Uh, I was going to say probably 1,500. That's not, that's not terrible. That's like it's on better par than with like the Ninjago sets, but at the same time, it's like I, I don't feel like there's enough volume of stuff. It doesn't feel like it has that many parts. It feels from looking yeah, at it like it should be like $40, $50. It doesn't feel special enough to warrant the size, the detail, all this. It doesn't doesn't feel right. special. A lot of the Winter Village sets have felt very There are nice people who special, collect not the Christmas one. sets, though. Like, Oh, yeah. Save up the rest of the year? I don't know. Now, this is the no, first no. time it's The people who collect the Christmas sets, I think, are mostly set. April's, I always actually. like looking at the Winter sets, but <laughs> yeah, this one bores people... me. <laughs> yeah, the people who collect the Christmas sets, they're, they're people who have cities that they can put them in. I am um, not entertained! I, I feel Isn't bad you because... Came here for? I, I feel bad because I wanted to get the toy shop, the, the Santa's toy shop that came out a few years ago, but I never got the chance to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a great set. Ugh. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. That's they should release stuff like that. Cool up close. Instead of boring stuff like this. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's that bad. It's not It's not bad. It's, it's, just, it's kind of like, eh. If it was a I mean? $40 or something, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a thing. Does but, that woman have the same uh, printing as the coffee shop guy from the Lego Ninjago movie? I bet she does. You mean the we Lego? We made this print in five. <laughs> yeah, the Lego movie. I mean, you they know. also use that same one in uh, the uh, assembly square. Huh? I did not know that. Maybe that's the I mean, official Lego brand. I helped someone build. Part I forget of how it, that so. guy's printing looks exactly, though. But. I don't I really remember don't, him, really. I don't like the guy with the suit, though, because I, that's such a common torso print. <laughs> that was the same about? one they used. I have He's two a train of them conductor. Because... Of course he has to wear that. That's He's true, that the is the, the guy. No, the guy yeah, with the is. bandana is the conductor. He's a train, what's the word, um, employee in the yeah, train. But anyways, the I, I remember I have two of these because I had two of the SpongeBob bus sets, and for some reason... The fish bus driver had that torso with the yellow hands. Really? <laughs> That's cool. Why do you have Not yellow really. hands? It looked really ugly. I mean, the bus is fine, but... It's funny. And the fish Wait, was the bus was from Glove good. World? Was the bus what? Was it the bus from Glove World? There's no Glove World references. It was just a bus. Aw. <laughs> That's a boring uh, set. That's more Sponge boring. Because I have two bus. of them, then I'm sick of that piece. I never want to see it used again. <laughs> <laughs> But to be fair, SpongeBob is an old theme, so it, it being reused this time isn't. Too I believe. Bad. Yeah. I'd have to look it up on uh, Brickset or something, but I believe it's used quite often in City. Hmm. <laughs> I I'm think sure you're right showbiz, about that. It's but just, I haven't uh, seen it in a while. It's just uh, I think the design, like the train tracks or the airport or whatever, they just put a logo on them. Like this guy has. The arrows with the circle in it, like mm. those things, I think they would differentiate. But aside from that, yeah, they're all pretty much the Aren't same. Huh. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they have a kid, yeah, too. Time when time. are they going to fix the little legs? They can't. <laughs> but Ever. they could if they try. It is impossible! I've done a lot of analysis on this. I really don't think they can make movable little legs. I think they're fine the way they are. <laughs> I but don't. I want them to be. Able I think to sit the solution down. is just to make as few of them as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe there I mean, would be a way to be able to do it. But train. You... he has to stand up for the entire ride. That's <laughs> cruel and inhuman punishment for your child. 
How about this? Down? What if the joint was slightly oh, well, inside the body down, segment? That's true. What was that, Glenda? What if the joint was slightly inside the body segment? It wouldn't work because of the way a minifigure body is molded. Um, there is no room for something to go all the way across what inside if, the body. Yeah, that's what, what I thought, of... but if they're doing custom legs, they could also do custom torsos. Oh, no, that'd be going... No, you can't touch the torso. <laughs> the, everyone will go crazy. Yeah, They cut it off good. at the hips. Why not just shorten the legs? <laughs> because then... It, well, then... But that's what you they know did! How, <laughs> you know how a lot of vehicles have that one piece where the legs... Or there's a little... Um, piece of plastic that slides right by a, between the feet to keep them in yeah um i'm afraid i don't if have you get, very many if, you, if like you add something down there and like only add a little bit of room uh between the kid's feet they he they'll be incompatible with every single ship or anything that uses that so technically like this they're much more compatible with every set than they would if they could move would be mm. if they could move another thing is if they add that they wouldn't have much room to put the studs on the back of the leg either Mm. Or not the stud holes. That's true. Mm. And then it wouldn't even, you know, make sense because they couldn't sit on stuff in that case. They'd only go on top of the studs. Oh, <laughs> if the legs lifted up like that, it would look like he had no legs at all when he was sitting down. Because you notice that the short legs don't have stud holes on the back of them as is. That's true. I believe that's a structural integrity thing. <laughs> That's possible. Uh, it's just it feels like very limited. Like, like so it should think uh, taking putting all better. that into consideration. I don't think it's possible for them to make small legs that sit down. If they could, they would have done it by now. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm, that's true. Well, you know, they did. You get know what very they are doing though. right now? You know what they are doing right now? They're what? teasing us. With more UCS Millennium Falcon garbage. Right, I'm just kind of tired of it. I just want to see images. I just same. It's <laughs> like okay, yeah, images. you can give me like a pile of bricks that's just like that's ugly pile of bricks at that too. Yeah. Like it's just it's all gray and tan and, and the color center, is like, sand. Come on, dude, be honest. I hate I sand. Really use this pile of bricks. Like I've seen this in so many thumbnails. This image, and I'm like, what the heck are you doing? That's a really an ugly too? image. It's Personally. like sand, when and I hate sand. <laughs> it's coarse and rough, and it irritates me, and it gets no. everywhere. <laughs> as far as I know, these aren't even the bricks to anything, are they? They just seem no. to be all... Uh, They're just two by four. Same yeah. generic bricks, They're random. Yeah. And but besides, what, what are they supposed to represent, bring. even though? Are they supposed to represent, like, the Taj Mahal? or the? I think Falcon it's supposed to represent what? the Taj Mahal. What knowledge we do gain is that this is going Taj to be Mahal, 7, The beige represents the Taj Mahal, the represents the Falcon. It's going to be 7,541 pieces. $900 set confirmed. <laughs> yep, probably. <laughs> Pretty much. Though a lot of people are saying it's going to be like 800 or something like that. Good In Star Wars, I'll be I surprised, especially with the Death Star. 600. Unless that they really nice, like, like skip out on I the minifigures. See, I wouldn't be surprised if it were 1,000. <laughs> it's going to be six. I, wouldn't I wouldn't either, actually. I was actually going to say, it, this is all only being marketed act. already towards the people who are going to shell out a ridiculous amount of cash for it. <sighs> so why not just take the, you know, plunge and go for the first ever thousand well, dollar Lego set? What That's kind of what I was thinking. That... If they can get a thousand dollars out of people with this, they will go for it. Yeah, what this does tell us is that it's probably going to have an interior, <laughs> which the, the original did not have. The original, no, the original UCS had an interior. No, it did not. It? No, it did not. The no, only real quote unquote interior it had was the cockpit and then the section where you'd put the gunners for the top and bottom mounted guns. In fact, I only think it had the top. Well, that is a shame. Hmm. So this one's going to have the full interior as far as we know. It had that's better. ridiculous. We <laughs> hope it does. For it's got like, like, there was, like one person, like in the trailer. Like, I guess a week from back from a week from today, um, someone saw like the Dejaric table. So that's even more confirmation of it. That'll be cool. Any pictures of the inside, right? Yeah. Maybe because there are no pictures of the inside. I mean, like I'm excited for this set, but at the same time, like I know I'm not gonna get it, and it's just <laughs> yeah. gonna be too big. And like, ugh. Well, here's someone who mocked up the inside of it and looks pretty awesome. <laughs> What I want from it are pictures. 
I want to see it compared to other sets. I want to see it next to humans. Yeah. I want to see it next to them to the other Millennium Falcon To the Falcon other Millennium Falcon sets, yes. Awakens. I want to drink in the size. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see pictures of the interior because apparently they don't exist. <laughs> we could. Because there is, there no, is interior. no interior. Yeah, because they haven't re- released some. them yet. <laughs> no, I mean of the original UCS Millennium Falcon uh, interior. There is no I interior. I can't find them anywhere, like, except for this really cool, online. like, You're not extremely accurate online. mock, which is, is really cool. If they did something like this, I'd actually be pretty tempted to buy it if I was rich. <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll see. If you were rich. Then Jago City first, my friend. Jago no. City. Does the person out there exist oh, that yeah. buys every single Lego set? No, I don't think they, they, don't they do. Exist. Jang. If they did, I feel they would be on YouTube. They, they or would not have a great deal. Yeah, somewhere. Jang is probably the closest, but Jang doesn't buy every single set. Yeah, that's right. Construction. No oh. billionaire is cool enough. And on to that do note, that. we've got to cut this segment off. In the next segment, we're gonna be getting to some Lego Ninjago Sons of Garmadon news. And some news about LEGO 2018 sets, so stick around. Want to join in on the discussion? Join the BCC Crew Discord server. Link is in the description below. The BCC Podcast. We're here on segment two, ready to get into some Lego Ninjago Sons of Garmadon news, some Lego Marvel Superhero 2 news, and some Lego Incredibles 2 news, surprisingly. So, let's get right into it, and I guess we'll start with what I said we'll start with, the Sons of Garmadon news. So, before we get any further, let me make it clear. We're not going to discuss leaks on this podcast. We don't do that. It hurts Lego, and it, they're generally not a good thing to have around. <laughs> very, very but what we can't ignore is the community just going berserk. Lately. <laughs> Over the, the weirdest stuff. You know, like like they a show about mad. Lego people being ninjas and twirling around and such. <laughs> All the animals have gone mad. There. Well... I guess we're not going to convince anyone today, but... <laughs> <laughs> One day you will try? Anyway, um, there are leaks out there of Ninjago Sons of Garmadon sets, and I believe it's okay to say this. We, we don't have anything unofficial like twisting our... What's that? How does that phrase go? Um, twisting our arm. Twisting Judgment? our arms. Behind our, behind yeah, our I guess it's arm, but that doesn't sound right for some reason. But anyways, yeah, no one is telling us we can't talk about leaks. I mean, technically, I don't think it is legal for anyone, it's but people do it anyway. <laughs> people do it. Anyway. Yeah. Just we just too don't good do it. it anyway. be- just too good does it to a point. True. After he almost lost his channel. <laughs> very, very <laughs> well. But anyway, yeah, they, we have pictures of the ninja, and these are preliminaries, first of all, keep in mind, and they have different faces, is what everyone's going crazy about. Now, Ooh. because everyone's going crazy. You know, everyone obviously went to Tommy Andreasen and went insane. He obviously him. cannot comment on him, but his tweet said, quick response to some questions. We don't comment on leaks slash not officially released stuff. And he stands by what he said earlier. And if you remember, he talked about how the other ninja besides Lloyd, though they'll have some adjustments, will be using the original face rigs. Now, there is two sides to this because we do have things that are contradicting each other here how so he just said it plainly <laughs> well the thing is there are they are totally different faces on the leaks but they're using the same mm, face face rigs, faces. Face rigs versus face all they appearance? all it is is that like a face rig it's using the same kind of like i don't want to say shape because all the heads have the same shape but like the same kind of like facial features they just add a few things to it mm-hmm. to well here's the thing the, the the redos are not adding a few things to it they're in fact total overhauls on these talking about? like kai Perhaps. scar is totally different on the opposite side of his face kai never had a scar on now the show. it is a prelim photo so they may the have eyes are just totally different the image flipped 
Zane's eyebrows are totally different too. Different from in the movie, also. They're like totally different from anything. Well, Zane's a robot. I have yet to see these leaks, so. Yeah, I only saw them by accident because they were all over Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not on Twitter. (laughs) I actually actually have a picture. Um, Let me find it. No, no, don't find it because we're not going to endorse well, i just i want to look at it real quick in my defense i would have looked at it if someone else. showed it don't to me don't worry um, but my point is yeah i don't know exactly what's up with it at that point i mean it's not a huge deal if they really are changed it's just kind of strange and it's not something i would have done especially if there isn't an explanation but face rigs in this case i believe since you referred to lloyd actually being totally changed because he said lloyd has the most notable changes in this press release and if they were going to use these other faces that are in the leaks, that would that would be Kai would honestly be the most notable changes, I think. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Honestly, so, at this point, I'm just kind of like, who cares? <laughs> no, what I find str- I wonder how this is again one of the reasons why it's not good to discuss leaks, though. <laughs> the faces might not be at all the same when the official sets come out. Right. That's like, also not, true. They might not when be the final. Next. It is all preliminary after all. I mean, they could, for example, they could have, you know, been planning on using these faces like the movie, and then they saw, like, a lot of people being concerned when the first, you know, movie images came out, and then they said, let's just change Lloyd, and that's the decision they came to. We don't know. But either way, and that's like, like 90% of the, the new community, community, to community to troll us. <laughs> 90% of the community is going totally crazy about it, though, and it's kind of annoying. And the rest of them don't have Twitter. <laughs> no, they do. I seriously think of pretty much every kid in the Ninjago community has Twitter for some reason. Kids should not have mm-hmm. Twitter. There, I said it. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. That's right. Don't do tweets, kids. I don't know. Anyone else <laughs> well, have anything to add to that? Not really, because I didn't look at the tweet leaks, because I don't enough. endorse them. Remember? <laughs> I I <laughs> I say have more faith. than it, what the people they were tweeting at Tommy Andreas in. <laughs> I'm just I saying, didn't... I think he's, I don't think he's lying. I think he's holding up. We just need to see more official, finalized see, I really stuff. don't exactly. care if the faces are different in the show, honestly. Same. I'm just confused about why it would, well, I do care a little bit because I don't like the inconsistency <laughs> and without explanation, which there probably won't be explanation even on Lloyd. You've never heard of totally a stylistic honest. difference? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like Omniverse. I remember I watching the show, oh, God, what was it called? It was based on I'm, a card game. I'm kidding, but... I, I mm. remember watching a show based on a card game. I forget. Chaotic, it was called. I don't know. Ka- oh, the first man. Season, yeah, I watched that the all the time. The first season was like... It looked like cardboard cutout, paper mache... It looked like Paper Mario, in a way. Mm. Where it's like everybody it was like did, put yeah. together, and they all looked like different moving parts, and it was it was terrible. But then they got a different... Yes, it was very like, the, But then for the second season, and I think also the third season, they got like a different animation group and they like completely overhauled it to make it look like in like an anime it was free i never got to see the final one with the movie what i'm more that. concerned about and what i trust they will be uh true to is that the personalities are the same in the show yeah they've already and said that all those except for cole really because the... cole doesn't have one anyway <laughs> <laughs> who knows maybe they'll try and give uh, it poor this cole around. they well, hey, literally see, haven't seen had a this image i think he might have one beginning. now We'll no, see. we're no, no, no. We're not opening that can of worms. I'm not opening anything. I That's just hinted at something, and nobody's getting it. We need the Comex, though. I do want these uh, to come out officially soon, though, because yes. I do. I want to actually take a look at them because they look very interesting, Russ. I'm really excited for next year. <laughs> yes, next year's looking. Very, Hide your pitchforks nice. until you see Lego it. For real. So the reason that all this is out is because a catalog leak, basically. Yes. <laughs> And again, I've not looked at the catalog. Ford probably did. I did. But... Yes, an entire catalog. <laughs> because I'm a criminal. Don't talk so to me, So just too good reported on this, though. And again, I'm going to trust what the official sources are saying is all right for us to talk about in a moral sense. <laughs> uh, just too good reported that there are two Lego Incredible sets coming out next year two. for juniors. <laughs> so... Just two? Okay, please. For Jad and just for juniors, which follows the line of uh, the Cars 3 sets, mm. which were only for juniors as well. But Cars 3 had like 
a few sets. It didn't just have two. Yeah, that's true, yeah. but Cars was technically more marketable for children. Yeah, that's the reason they keep making Cars movies, movies. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so marketable. Basically, uh, we need money for our next, you know, few movies. Uh, let's make another Cars movie. You know? Mm-hmm. Though I heard Cars 3 is pretty good and I still gotta see I it. I thought that there yeah, were still three At least Junior's has good Not mini two. pigs. Just Too Good is reporting that there's two incredible sets. The best Green Goblin they ever made. Wait, how did this juniors. go to Green Goblin? Oh, I'm Junior. Just saying, Junior's just good mini pigs. So if I you're mean, an like, There was fan, one in the bridge battle and that pigs. was pretty good. That's Wasn't true, but the mech- purple isn't as good as the purple on the Junior's one. Are you kidding me? I like that dark purple, not that reddish purple. But it had arm printing. Oh. Well, I don't have it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, it does I say three. The two. Well, I guess I got it. The is it says two sets. The title of Just Two Goods video is two sets coming. And in the oh, text that's of this probably... video, it says three mystery sets. So I'm kind of like, what? That's so probably five. what I confused me. Uh, <laughs> I said two. I thought you had more information than me, so I stayed silent. <laughs> no, no. I wonder if Syndrome is coming back. That would well, be terrible. Well, he kind of went through a, you know, and died. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers, but uh, no capes. The Incredibles actually has a higher death count than any it, other. If you haven't watched it yet, you're If you talked to everyone who got That's their cape caught in things, then... <laughs> Or just and Which the people in the jet, Why? death in general. They're dead. Yeah. <laughs> but it is still one of the best Pixar movies of the yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Will that um Elastic Girl have the stretchy arms? <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. Do we want her to? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not Dude, sure. Jack, it looks Jack, very grown awkward. up. <laughs> oh man. Oh. That's going to we'll be insane. I'm kind of wondering if they'll stay true to that with the movie, though, because what I've been hearing about it is not matching up with what I heard about it earlier. What are you hearing about it? I haven't heard very uh, much of all, at all. It was, maybe it's I going through that, that fabled or what, but Disney shake I'm not going to attempt sure to actually what paraphrase what they're saying. I'd encourage you to go look at it yourself later. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you never know. Rogue One has like five or six different endings filmed. <laughs> you never know what's Disney. <laughs> I hope it's, it's like good. Clue. It will be very depressing if it's not good. <laughs> That's like my interpretation of how I feel about episode eight. <laughs> I honestly feel like Crunch. a bad Incredibles two is worse than a bad Star Wars movie because <laughs> there's I no agree. recovering from I bad agree. Incredibles two. <laughs> that is a good point. Especially Star Wars with will the... continue long after how we are long dead and we've gone. waited for Incredibles two. Like we thought there was going to be a Ever sequel pretty immediately because one. it was a huge hit, but. No, never Nothing. until like mm-hmm. now. So, I mean, you know, you can only go so far with the Incredibles from Pixar's point of view. Where Star Wars, you can just make another anthology movie, and people will still come and see it, despite yep. firing your directors again and all that yep. other things. <laughs> just fire all of your really good directors. Who have really seemingly good ideas, and <laughs> we're not gonna get on that. Yeah, we totally uh, I would hope just not. get on it. Lego Marvel superheroes two is a thing. Yeah. yeah speaking of twos, <laughs> uh, they had a new trailer, um, official Chronopolis game trailer, and it showcases the world a little bit. Yeah. Oh, world. Not really all that much. Not many new characters in it either. No. Not that I've seen. It's. I'm, I'm looking forward to for the game eventually. <laughs> for the most part, I mean, people know I don't like Comic Con at all. Wow. <laughs> and she's featured quite a bit in this. Yeah. That is true. But Spider Man 2099 actually looks a little different than he had in. I don't recall him having a cape in the earlier ones. Uh, the earlier trailers. I, don't know either. I think he always Perfect. had a cape before. Huh. I don't remember if he did or not, actually. <laughs> I, w- I just want that mini figure. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. Instead of, you know, a giant man. No, I want the giant man, too. <laughs> giant man. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Sorry. That's, like, essential if you want to make a good classic Avengers team. I suppose. 
Well. The Old West ones I could live without. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, like, so obscure, too. It's, like, obscure to the point where people who like obscure things don't really even care about it all that much. <laughs> Some I do kind of like Adam Warlock. Too. He's he's a cool inclusion. Is that Adam Warlock? Am I getting that right? Depends uh, on which one. What? I do is see the, the maestro beginning? part of it. I believe that's the maestro, at least, because we see, like... Hulk, Red Hulk, and I think that's the maestro behind him. Huh. I can't. I forget who that guy with the beard is. Um, with there's plenty of people with beards, like Thor, for instance. The a big fig with the beard. <laughs> I mean, and sadly, okay. You know what though? I actually am mad about. Oh what? No X Men, no Fantastic Four confirmed at this point. Ah. Yes. If we went this far without a single one, there's none in the game. <laughs> oh, but wait, it has Kun Lun. What? It has Kun Lun. Kun Lun. What's the point of Kun Lun without Wolverine? But it has Iron Fist. What's the point of Iron Fist without Wolverine? <laughs> this is true. Yeah, but I'm... is Luke Cage in it? I'm sure. Howard the Duck is. <laughs> Yeah, many Howard the Ducks are for some reason. Yeah. Lego has chosen him as their new favorite. Lately. Lego decided it's such a great movie. <laughs> yeah. Everyone must have a Howard the Duck minifigure. I'm pretty sure they're referencing the comics. <laughs> nah, well, one totally would certainly George hope Lucas. so. I've actually read a, one or two of those, and those are actually pretty good. A lot of them are actually pretty inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Just the like one that movie. I saw wasn't bad. Have you seen the Howard the Duck movie? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have. It's bad. It's bad, and it's also slightly inappropriate. Only like slightly? The beginning and... Only slightly. Yes, the beginning. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, we're not very enthused about this. No, not really. It's just there's not much going on with it that we like. It's like, ugh. I the wish they, if they wanted to get cool. my hype up, they'd reveal more characters and add X-Men to the game. And Fantastic Four. I even settle for no Fantastic Four and X just getting X Men, but we don't even get that. I like the appearance of Asgard, but I'm very disappointed that none of these locations are made out of Lego bricks. Well, that's yeah, that's that's just a thing with Lego games. I know games. it is, but mm -hmm. still, it doesn't stop me from being irritated at it. It's getting less and less excusable as the years go on. I think. Yeah. I, uh, there really is games is not allowed to use these characters. The Fantastic Wait, Four and the X-Men. Wait, they're not allowed oh, to use they, them? I'm fairly certain. They made three um, Fox vs. character sets in the very first year, and then none ever again. Clearly, there's some meddling here. No, no, they did more, because they just had a Mighty Micros recently. That is true. Having one Mighty Micros, that's it, just one Mighty Micros. But that, that they're not allowed to make the sets. There's, hmm. I'm absolutely yes, but they're, they're most to likely it. told not to. You saw in Lego Marvel One how, in how, there was such a big part of that game. They wouldn't have zero presence in this game if it was up to the people who made the first one. It's not up to I... them, I believe. I believe there's some sort of well. To be fair, the X Men aren't to. as popular as they used to be. It maybe with older people like Logan and stuff is, yeah, but I really don't think they're as popular with kids. So I mean, it does make sense to focus more on the MCU. I'm Deadpool just disappointed is pretty about popular that. Popular with Honestly, kids. I think that Wakanda looks fantastic. Just the appearance of it. I mean, uh, I didn't know. I, I mean, it's was, kind of was, low was, res. Um, was it Alan? Alan? Is that the Inhuman City? Yes. Was that in there? I don't remember. I believe it's going to be. Uh, All I noticed was Kun Lun. Kun Lun. I mean, I did see the Inhuman side. I'm the Iron Fist. fist. <laughs> I'm the Immortal Edge Fist. And I'm the I probably am going to get this game. What is the, the thing end? that Black Bolt is in? Is, it looks like the Coliseum, but I know it's not. I actually thought it was the Coliseum. No, no, yeah, it is the Coliseum. It is. Okay. Yeah, the Coliseum. It's just a different Bye. angle that I'm used to looking at it in. <laughs> okay. Seeing okay. Black the Bolt, Guardians I'm reminded, and I'm reminded alone of is how enough much for me I'm... to get the game. Oh. 
seeing Black Bolt in this, I'm reminded of how much I am not at all looking forward to the Inhuman show. Is anyone looking forward to it? Oh, man, it's <laughs> no. be a train wreck. But I heard some I'll good bet news. I'll Black Bolt can't what? even fly. I did, I did hear some good news that most likely because of the um, it got canceled. because of the poor reception that it seems to be getting. Um, once Inhumans is done, Agents of Shield will immediately come back. So it will, it will not be coming back in January of 2018. It will instead be coming back sometime in the fall of 2017. Huh? <laughs> Which I am happy about because that is the only show Shield I watch on television. Is a good show. I still can't believe that they canceled the movie to give us this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How they bad even said was like the I, movie? I've even heard read articles that said like yeah, we literally just got it out there for the cash. <laughs> yeah, I recall looking for the director. They were looking for someone who could do it fast and cheap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's, that's not sad. how you do this a show. This is exaggerating stuff. This is stuff that's out there. If you look up, <laughs> look it up. I yeah. I really can't believe that they're doing this. It seems Why it does everyone look value. off? Everyone. I mean, really, Medusa is the worst offender. Yeah. She seems to be the worst. Mm-hmm. She I kind mean, of like, throws off well, the Max whole Smith show. Looks pretty bad too. <sighs> You see, I could live with him if it wasn't just for the fact Medusa takes it down so far. <laughs> wow. I mean, you can only do uh, so much with that hair. At trick. least Gorgon and um, Crystal, they look the most decent. Yeah, but they're still boring, too. Mm. That's true. If That's you're going to have boring characters, at least they could have done is make decent looking boring characters. But <laughs> they couldn't even do that. <laughs> I mean, like, mm. at least, uh, what's his name? He plays Iron Fist. At least they made him Finn look Jones. somewhat not boring. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, the Netflix shows all cast, per- like, not pretty well, extremely well. Yeah, yeah. But and, like, okay. This is probably the worst Finn cast Jones MCU too connection boy. ever. <laughs> yeah, like, I watched, okay, like, for example, like, I watched Defenders. I'm pretty sure everybody watched Defenders in some capacity. Nope. And... Well, actually, we're getting off track, and we got to end this segment ah, here. man. <laughs> So, Defenders is good though. Watch it. It's very good. Please watch it. I haven't seen it, so maybe I will watch eventually. it. I have one episode to go. But on the other end of the break, we'll be talking about our Lego Ideas Spotlight of the Week, and we'll be playing the This Year in Lego History game hosted by Ford. See you then. Have a question or comment you'd like us to answer on the podcast? Just send us an email at thebccpodcast at gmail.com. Welcome back to the BCC Podcast, Segment 3. It's time for our normal segment three activities where we're going to be playing a game and going over the Lego Ideas Spotlight. So, Clinda, I will hand it off to you. Thank you. Dang, this music. Okay, anyway. This week, we have for Lego Ideas, we have the Palace Garnier Opera House. Now... I cannot tell from this picture if it has an interior, so it probably does not because the windows are tiny. This is a... Well, I'm sure if it doesn't have it in the picture, Lego won't make an interior for it because <laughs> they're not going to make anything outside the pictures. Yeah. So evidently, then, this fun. is accurate to something in Paris, and this is for geeks. This is the setting of The Phantom of the Opera, which I think oh, is pretty cool, okay. but... I didn't realize. Yeah, so evidently, this is a somewhat scale replica the proportions aren't exact but evidently then this is quote a glorified protoform prototype mm-hmm. oh wow Long franchise i like th- i like the description they have on this oddly enough that's the thing i mentioned it's actually a, uh, a nice miniature model a miniature model of this was produced for andrew lloyd weber's 2004 adaptation of it that's when the movie was made that's cool yep the movie the as if there so weren't you know, couple, just you know, the movie. <laughs> well, I've seen that movie, and it's 
not as bad. I like the green. I'm not biased. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, I think that this is very nicely done. Oh, yes. Um, Completely without reference to the actual opera house. Then it's very solidly done. It looks great. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece, really. Honestly, this is something that I would want to buy. Yeah. What do you probably wouldn't be something I'd personally buy. I think it looks very nice. It's very well designed. It just doesn't fit with many of the other pieces in my collection. Right. It's yeah. more for the architecture because phase. Because it's an art yes. collection. <laughs> it's more for someone who wants something that looks and miniatures have never been my bag, but elegant. it looks like it'll be a lot of other people's bag. Uh, I just see problem with the base plate. For I don't know why. Like The base plate just really throws it off for me. Like, oh, you speaking of base plates, Walmart was carrying a ton of base plates when I went there the other oh, day, really? which I had not really? seen before. Like, awesome. I didn't realize Lego produced gray base plates that big either. <laughs> Hang on, how big were the Walmart where you stood in the in the in the store for an hour filling up bags? Oh yes, I actually I should have told that story earlier, <laughs> but tell it now. So yeah, I got when I was getting smooth figures. I actually didn't plan on getting them. It was my little brother's birthday. And he and his friend wanted me to go and pick them up a couple of them. They'd already gotten several of them, but there's a couple they both really wanted. So they gave me a $10 bill and asked me to each get one of the ones they circled. Oh. So cute. his friend wanted either Volcano Garadon or the Shark Army General. And my brother, I believe, wanted Zane or Hooded Lloyd. <laughs> so I get there and I, I was going to Walmart to... I had to pick up something else, but I forget what it was. <laughs> anyway, so I pick up that. I really had to use the bathroom by sight. You know what? I'll just go hop over there. I'll quickly find these minifigures they want and I'll hop out. So I get there and I start feeling some bags and I don't find anything that they're looking for. <laughs> um, who did, I found uh, Jay first, I think, actually, because I saw found the scarf in it. But they both already had Jay, I think. But, you know, like, I, I, I want Jay. You know, maybe if I feel like it when I'm done here, I'll pick him up or I'll come back later and pick him How up. So I set it up on the shelf of both Jay. minifigures. You should have brought a marker and, like, drew on it. <laughs> Jay. I wonder if that would have been legal. <laughs> no. Technically, it's not mine, so that would be vandalism. Uh, this is true. Vandal. But if you're buying it, it's like a break it don't... It, well, I wasn't like planning on buying it at the it time. Kind of thing. And I found a lot of sushi chefs, a couple of flashback Garmadons. <laughs> hmm. Uh... A lot of gong guitar rockers. Eventually, I did find a hooded Lloyd and a Zane. Uh, I put the hooded Lloyd in the pile for my brother since I found that one first. And I put Zane in the other pile because in case I decide I'll, I'll get either Zane or Jay. <laughs> a long time goes by and I'm finding all sorts of other ones. I don't find any shark army generals or volcano garmadons. I find a lot of other coals too. I did find a coal during that time. I've also put him in the pile. Mm-hmm. I think I might have found a Kendo Kai, but honestly, at that point, my fingers were starting to hurt, and I really defense. needed to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, okay, nope, that piece is not in either of them. Throw it back. <laughs> I had a, a ton of them all sorted, actually. I was like, okay, the if someone else comes here, they want a minifigure that I had already found. I'm like, hey, here you go. Don't suffer like <laughs> I am. <laughs> have so fun not aching your fingers off. Eventually, I finally found the helmet for Volcano Garmadon. And I was like, yes, finally. So I just grabbed all three of the ones I was planning on maybe getting and bought them. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're pretty cheap. If you want them, you should definitely get them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just like, I'm not going through that again. Mm-hmm. No, Those were the three I wanted the most the out of the series. That's not bad. Did you also pick up the Volcano Garmadon? Oh, I did, but it was for my okay. little brother's friend. <laughs> okay. So I got to see it, like, between all of us then that were, like, sitting out, we had almost everyone in the series. <laughs> oh, That's no. Okay, weird. I didn't find any of the other Shark Army guys there. I didn't find any Shark Army guys in that entire thing at all. Huh. Well, LJ is really weird. I haven't been able to find guys. any Ninjago minifigures in my entire area. This They just put out a new box at Walmart, which is why I, they asked me to go there. Oh, man. I'll have to check I around went through, in my game. Okay, the box was em- almost empty by the time I finished. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Obsessive I realized that, much? Uh, they are popular. Obs- I, but I wouldn't call it obsessive. They, I had the to come Lego. back. They gave me the money. I had to come back with what they wanted. I couldn't just grab a random one like, hey, you know, I know you entrusted me to get you what you wanted with your money, but I got you this instead. You're a slave <laughs> to your family. <laughs> oh, wow. 
It was a kind <laughs> thing for t- you to have done, and I'm sure that he is grateful. <laughs> Going back to but... the set, I think it's a good idea. Um, but I just wouldn't <laughs> buy it. <laughs> this is one that I would probably actually buy. I feel like one of the only ways to really, really, um, really market it is by putting in, like, I don't know, like, Phantom of the Opera minifigs or something like that. Well, it's That's the wrong scale for that. Scale, so. Yeah. Well, like, have it there for, like, a... What's it called? Like, the, the UCS sets, except yeah, smaller like instead of bigger. Like, they Get do a the micro fig and throw like acid on one side of its and face. The, and the submarine, and they can <laughs> still go in the submarine, but it wasn't, like to perfect scale mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ah get the two-faced micro fig from the game series and pretend he's the phantom of the opera eh. he's close enough <laughs> except oh, for the yeah. orange nano the figs. nano figs why don't you print them on nano figs that, that'd be cool but then no nano figs are off but then people <laughs> would want mini figs so you may as well do the mini figs Actually, a separate oh, minifigure right. series of all the Phantom of the Opera minifigs would be really cool. That would be. Remember when they would have those little slope pieces with a stud on top to represent a minifig? <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, nice is that be? Yeah, why don't we but get But you know, the now game? I think it's time for the game. All right, so I am hosting me. the game this week, and this game, the name of the game, is this game? year in. Lego history. Uh, hmm. The rule is you have to basically you have to guess the um, which themes were in what in the year that I say, and whoever strikes out they strike out, and it's the last man standing. Hmm. You kidding? That's pretty much the gist. In a more particular sense, Ford will name a year from history. And then go through each one of us individually, asking us what themes were available that year. We'll each name a theme. It'll keep going through the list over and over until one of us gets it wrong. And the last person to not get any set of the themes that were available that year wrong wins. All right. Works for me. So it's the game of last. I'm going to start in alphabetical order. Okay. Wink, wink. Uh, and I'm going to start with the year 2011. So, Clenda, you're up. Oh, wow, 2011. Okay. I didn't have um, any sex back in there. Bionicle had just Wait, ended, me. so... It um, was during my dark ages. <laughs> um, some bizarre part of me wants to say Galador, and I cannot for the life of me figure out why it wants to say that. It's 2011, um, Clenda. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I Just know. say it anyway. It's fun to see city. what happens. <laughs> You're like city. Okay, I I was confusing 2011 for 10. Now now I know a ton All of right. things are out that year. Clenda, you're good. City is off the market. LQ. Ninjago. Ninjago is off the market. Mm-hmm. Mace. Star Wars. Perfect. Boo, that was fine. <laughs> fine. Valoris. I didn't. Um, okay. Um, so basically, all the obvious ones are out. Um, ah. Oh, come on. There's a bunch of obvious ones on this one. I'm sorry. That's why I'm, I picked it I'm, first. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That's a problem. <laughs> um, okay. Uh <sighs> Um, Harry Potter. Correct. Cool. Back to you, Clenda. Okay. Um. No, not Kelly. Uh, was Pirates of the Caribbean out that year? It was. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Uh, Technic. Very good. <laughs> Hero Factory. Pretty good. I'm surprised that wasn't in the first round. I couldn't remember if that was the year that I started thought of it in or the, the first year round, after but I decided that. to sit no, on well, it. the second year. This was, way. It was Ordeal of Fire and Savage Planet. Um, okay. If Bionicle wasn't around, Hero Factory was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Malur- Wait, Mace just went, so Malurus. Mm-hmm. Um, Bunch mm, of obvious ones. Th- this, is, this is tearing me apart. Um, You're tearing oh, okay. me apart! Bottomal. Okay, I'm glad that I am. Atlantis. Mm. Correct. Yes. 
Whoa, correct? I had thought that was way earlier for some reason. Uh, 20, well, Atlantis was in 2010, but then it had uh, another subline in 2011. where it That had, was the, okay. Wasn't that, yeah. that was like with the, the animation? Most yellow, right? Sort of, yeah. It was. They had lighter colors, and it did have the city of Atlantis set, not just the portal. Awesome. Um. So, Clenda, back to you. Architects, or architecture? Correct. The nice thing about having a lot of All people right. is it gives you more time to think. I have several ideas, but I'm less sure at this point. I could really take a shot in the dark with a couple of themes here. All right. And I am because now I. Well, you got like Pharaoh's Quest. Correct. Oh, uh, it's just... I remember hmm. this. This was the year that the Lego shop at Downtown Disney was under remodel, was being remodeled. Uh-huh. So they had were selling Lego shops, at Lego sets, <laughs> darn, I can't speak, <laughs> in a tent near the parking lot. Oh, wow. All right, uh, Mace, it's your turn. Mindstorms? Technically, yes. Um, well, Wait, did they release a new Mindstorm that year, though? Uh, they have to have released a product that year. just polybag sensors. I don't think... Polybags that... don't count. Yeah. Okay, then. They don't? Uh, so, no. Mace, you get one more try. <sighs> <laughs> okay, um, Agents. I'm sorry, Mace. No, Agents is not around. So, oh, man. You're out of the game. I thought that was good. You're done, that son. Time. You're done. <laughs> Now I believe Agents already... was maybe a couple years earlier. I think so too. Yeah, Agents was like it was earlier. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, was two thousand seven, two thousand eight, somewhere around there. <laughs> All right, uh, Mal. Oh, so I'm thinking <laughs> since it was at the end of Atlantis and Pharaoh's Quest was out, Alien Conquest. Perfect. Oh, I was yes. gonna do that one. Oh, I was gonna say I Alien was gonna Conquest. Say that one. All right. Um, Back to you, Clenda. I I think I know one, but I don't know if it counts. Um, Shoot, you got two chances. Uh, <laughs> Lego games? Does that even count? No. It counts if they did release a set that year, because that was a line. Uh, As in the board games. I'm gonna fact check that real quick. I think Glenn is correct. Okay. I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, that's you're a total correct. stab in the butt gut of darkness. I'm just gonna. You know, make I don't think they sure. make the die piece anymore. Mm. I don't think they do. I remember I bought the. The game line is dead. Yeah. yeah, that's I don't a know shame. That piece. It's a shame. Actually, yes, they did, this. including a Ninjago board game, uh, another really? expansion to Hero. Hiroka. Oh yeah, they had a Ninjago game. Okay, I knew that part. I had not known about the Ninjago board. Game. Actually, you ever get that a- up actually, yeah, it was a lot of expansions to Heroica. That's In fact, cool. it was Heroica to begin with, so yeah, games. I can't believe I forgot to put that on my list. Sure. Alright. LQ, you're next. Okay, um... Darn, I was gonna use Alien Conquest this time. <laughs> I know. Now, there's one that I'm really, really not there's sure about, but I think has a good chance. There's a bunch of obvious you guys are really missing out on. Hmm. I'm sure it's very, very obvious. Now, very uh, obvious. I could, I'm, I could, mate, take a chance on this one, but I'm not sure if I want take to, a, or if I want. To. You got a chance, and then a I correct. could use the obvious. Uh, I'll stick with the obvious creator. <laughs> correct. Now, I just hope no one steals my obscure one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the SpongeBob reboot then? Correct. Yes. <laughs> okay, this was supported I, by two I... sets. Um, the Glove World and the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, actually, it was uh, the Boatmobile. Oh. Huh. Yeah, they were like superheroes or something. Clinda. <laughs> yeah, they were just. Snap. I. Um. There's two really obvious ones that you guys are really missing out on. Three. I'm telling us this. Say that one more time. Toy Story? No. I mean, it was either 2010 or 11. Wait, wait, since when did this become a two chance game? It, it has no, 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 I ever. should be winning. If I got it wrong, I should be out. I thought it was like a thing where you got like another chance if you get No, it. no, no, no this game only guessing. like if it's Remember? like a. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, Clenda, you are out. LQ. Oh, well. Yeah, I can. 
I kind of didn't All think right. that was right anyway. I'm going to go with my shot in the dark one. Was Lord of the Rings out this year? No, it was not. Darn! Means... What year did they start Lord of the Rings? Was that 12? Uh, I you win, Mal. Was. I guess this means Mal wins. Congratulations, <laughs> lad. Uh, you missed out on Cars. Uh, oh. As cars. in Pixar's Cars. Yeah. Car. Uh, Kingdoms. Oh, Kingdoms was yeah, that? Yeah. That... Oh, goodness. You also missed out on Life of George. What? Oh, Life, Life of, of George. Uh, Life the, of who? The, the Master Builder Academy. And surprisingly, yes. the most surprising one, Racers. Because, yeah, um, the Faces. 2011 oh. or 2010 was the last year of um, darn Brickmaster, wasn't it? I believe it was. So Master Builders came uh, out that year. I have year. another year Isn't here it? if you want to do that. I Actually, I think we're out of time. Oh, man. And I got a point through all of this. We've got like so, two and a half minutes then. left, so... Yeah, we that, don't have that's enough not going to be you right. spit fart. Longer than I thought it did. Then okay, we're not capable of doing a speed round if this other round costs <laughs> anything. Ah, uh, fine. So our current game scoreboard is we're actually all pretty in the ball same ballpark right now. It's LQ at thirteen points, Leo at ten points, Plenda at twelve points, Maluris at eight <laughs> points, nope. Mace at eight point five points. Oh, wait, I think I accidentally increased Mace's points instead of Malaris. No, I increased <laughs> Malaris. Never mind. It's just for some reason I highlighted Mace's points. Oops. Wow. Ford at 10.5 points, and all guests at 2. Mm-hmm. We're all really in the running for the finals no, this year. No, no, no. We're not, not me. doing that badly. Like, sadly, Mal and I are doomed. I mean, Mace, I can see doing it, but me, I, I kind of catch up a bit, just but then won. I just... Uh, just go backwards you know just i mean heck i'm doing you, better well, than you two. you want some you lose some uh, i'm s- i'm sorry <laughs> me and clenda keep going back and forth for the lead lately <laughs> what mm-hmm. well you're 13 and clenda's 12 win. so mm-hmm. i'm younger than i thought Plot twist Leo comes wins. <laughs> oh, i wish i were that young Leo is missing more episodes than Ford at this rate, though, so... You know who's missed the most episodes? I think Leo might actually have missed the most episodes this year. I am only year, a half so. a point I ahead thought of Orion him, missed so the most this year. Game. Ha, ha, ha. Orion still hasn't been reintroduced. He's never actually been on an episode of the BCC podcast. As it is. Man. Technically, you he'll that, be a Orion? new cast Get member, even though he's in the intro, but I just didn't want to make a new intro. <laughs> 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 but I actually might have to eventually <laughs> well hey all right that's gonna time have time to comes. do it for us today <laughs> so if you want to leave a comment on anything we talked about today please please leave a comment below i'd love to get more comments on all our videos yeah, also we don't get that i'd love to get more likes on our videos too and more shares please do all the cliche things that youtubers ask you like to do. subscribe please. i'd like yeah, our videos too. suggest them to your friends that sort of thing Yep, do all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, really you can grow comments. and reach out. <laughs> well, I guess you won't be doing that now, but, <laughs> you know, maybe think about it next week then. <laughs> so, for Ford, Clenda, Mace, Luris, and myself, LQ, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one. Farewell, fellows.